how to use Wix Forms, Wix Forms tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about Wix and how you're going to be creating forms out of it in the most easiest and seamless way. Now, many of you business owners out there might need forms for leads and people to sign up with your offers or websites. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be creating greatly designed forms and they're going to be working fast and seamlessly. So to start things off, we're going to come over to Wix.com. And over here, we're going to click on Get Started. Now, the Wix signup process is really simple. Once you click on Get Started, it's going to ask you for your email. So we're simply going to add our email over here. And then it's going to ask you to confirm your email. So once we have confirmed our email, we're going to go straight ahead to our password section. Now, in the password section, what you're going to want to do, you are going to want to go and add a password that is strong and seamless and make sure to remember it correctly. So here we're going to add our password. And once the password is in, you're simply going to click on sign up. Now I'm using a temp email for myself, but if you want to use Google or Facebook, that's also dependent on you and you can use it straight away. Now, once we've gone through with that, we're going to click on sign up. And once we click on sign up, it takes us to the onboarding. So here it asks, who are you creating a website for? Obviously it could be for a client or yourself. I'm going to go with myself right now. Once we go with myself, it's going to bring us here. Now, this is the AI section of Wix where it actually asks us to chat with AI and whatever prompts we give AI, it's going to bring it to life through the website. So I'm going to go with setup without chat right now because I just want to go ahead and create a form for myself. Now it says, what type of website do you want to create? So a form could consist in an online store, portfolio, blog, consultant, tech company, whatever there is. So I'm going to go with tech company. And once we go with tech company, we're going to click on continue. Now, as we click on continue, it starts preparing our dashboard. Now, once we prepare our dashboard, it's going to load us in and it might ask you, uh, it might ask you to add in widgets and add in different elements for your store, depending on whatever template you've chosen. So once we have come to the main dashboard section, what you're going to want to do over here is you're going to start setting up your store to create good forms. So for this, what we are going to want to do is we're going to go over to the customer and lead section. Now in the customer and lead section, we're going to see forms and submissions right here. So we're going to click on forms and submissions. And as you click on forms and submissions, it's going to bring you over here. Now here, you could either create a form through the templates that it gives you over here, or you could create a totally new form. So I'm going to go to create new. Okay. And we're going to click on create form. Now it could be a standalone form where a form could be created directly through a link and you could share it anywhere. Or it could be a website form where you can create a form in the editor that will appear on your website. All right. So I'm going to create a standalone form first, and then we're going to create a website form to see the difference in them. So once we go to the standalone form, you could either create a form totally from scratch and add your things into it, or you can create a form from the templates that they give you. So it could be a contact form, feedback, application, client info, whatever you'd require. So let's say I want a feedback or contact form. So I'm going to go over here and click on get started. Now, once we click on get started, it's going to bring us to the contact information section. So here you're going to want to fill in your details. Okay. So the form title, obviously let's keep it contact information form description. You could add, please fill in the correct details. Okay. Now, once we write this, here you have first name in this section. So you could ask first name, last name, email, phone, address. Now, these are obvious things that they've added as a widget. But if you want to add a new field to your form, you could add it through this section. So let's say I want to add a number form. Okay. And I'm going to bring it right over here. And I'm simply going to place it right under the phone section. Now in the number, you could ask what is your age. So you could ask the person's age, then enter a number could be the placeholder and the format could either be decimal or whole numbers. I'm going to keep it whole numbers because that's what age is in. And you could either keep it on required. So if a person doesn't fill this in and wants to submit the form, it won't do it for them. So they're going to have to put in their age. So I'm going to keep this on required, then we have this on required. And once we've done all of this, then you have the submit button. So you could change the text for the submit button as well. So let's say it's done. And then there's the thank you message. 
So once you have done all of this, you're going to click on save. And once you click on save, you can preview your actual form. Okay. Now, once the preview of the form is seen, you can open the live form over here. And once you click on the preview section, it's going to open up the form and you should be good to go. So you can add up to 10 fields on the free plan, by the way. If you have any upgraded plan, you could add more fields for yourself if you want to. But if you want the basic plan, you know, the free plan that you have, you're going to add up to 10 fields. Now, you could also go into the forms setting and mess around with it if you want to. That obviously depends on you and how you choose to approach it and how you choose to create it. And obviously, as you save forms, they're going to appear over here. So any website form will come here. Any standalone form will come here. So it all depends on the type of working that you apply to your website. Now, let's say we created a standalone form, right? Let's go ahead and create a website form. Let's see how it's going to look onto the website when you apply it into the website's very own code. Now, you could check it out in their templates where, you know, we have all these websites to work with and mess around with. So you could actually go into the website editor and inside the website editor, you can download the Wix forms application. Now, the Wix forms application is a totally free application that Wix gives you by itself. And what you can do is you can use that application to actually create forms for your website and embed it into your website code. Now, the best part of embedding something into your website code is that you can actually make it appear from anywhere. It could be from bottom right, bottom left. It could be right in the middle. You could change the timing it appears. So let's say if a person immediately visits your website page, it could appear in the center. Or if a person is on your website for, let's say, around 10 to 15 minutes, then it appears for them. Or maybe it could just be a button right here in the bottom right looking like this. And if someone clicks on it, then the form appears. So these are different things that you can add. So if you want to add a form, as I stated, you're going to go to add apps. Now, once you click on add apps over here, you're going to search the Wix forms app. So to search the Wix forms app, simply come over here, click on apps, and then we're going to go ahead and write forms. Once we close on forms here, it's going to give you Wix forms and payments. You're going to click on that. And once you click on Wix forms and payments, you're going to click on add to site. Once you go on add to site, it brings you to the application installer. And once it is installed, it's going to simply start adding it right into your page. So it prepares the proper layouts that are needed for a form template. And once all of that is done, it's going to open this up. Now it says choose a form template. It could be a contact form, subscriber form. It could be a payment form, multi-step form, anything that you want. I'm going to go with the basic contact form right now and click on choose template. Now, once you choose this template, it's going to open up the contact form right over here and you can place it anywhere you want on your page. Obviously, it depends on you. So let's say I want it over here, right in the center. So I'm going to bring it right over here. Now, once it's over here, a person could add all of their settings and capabilities into this form. Now, the best part is that you could actually change the elements in your form. You could add new fields, you could add new descriptions, whatever you'd, whatever you'd require can be added into this layout. You can also change the different colors and change the different textings in the form. You could give it a new look if you want to. Okay, it all depends on you. So let's say I want to change the color of this field. So I'm going to click on design. Now, once you click on design, you could actually customize the design's color. So fill color and opacity. Let's say I want to go with a greener color over here. I'm going to click on submit and look at that. So just like this, you could design your form according to yourself as well. So just like this, you could create forms for yourself on Wix in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till well, then, that is all from me and I will be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.